Hey, what's up guys? We all have phones we need to charge. So in today's video I will show you three easy to make devices that will charge it. One may be a little bit more useful than the other, however they will all work. So let's get started. Phones are generally charged from a 5 volt source, but the batteries we are going to use are only 3.7 volts. And that's where this little guy comes in. This is a step up module that converts the lower voltage to a usable 5 volts for us to charge our phone with. The batteries are two 2500 lithium ion cells that we will connect in parallel to make a larger 5 amp hour pack. Just make sure they have the same voltage and have been used the same number of cycles. We also need a single cell charger board that will allow us to charge the batteries using a solar panel but also from a mobile charger through the micro USB port if we would like a fast charge. I will be using a small 5 volt solar panel to charge my batteries slowly but this is totally optional. Now all we need is some wire and a soldering iron to join everything together. Now if we plug in the phone, you will see it will begin to charge. Pretty cool. This is nothing you would normally walk around with and that's why I designed and 3D printed this small container for the electrical components to be inside and a solar panel on top. Electronics and water doesn't mix very well, so I'm gonna go inside. For this project you need a bunch of Peltier ships or thermoelectric coolers, a sheet of 2mm aluminum, some candles, a USB step-down regulator, some thermal paste glue, a deep baking pan, and cold water. And now it's just a question of stacking everything together and connecting the Peltier ships in a serial connection. All right, let's do this. Now let's see if this device works. All we have to do is light the candles and place them underneath this contraption and then pour the cold water on top and that should be enough to charge our phone. Let's do it. Now if we plug in the phone 
For the final project, I dug around inside my box of electric motors and I found this tiny motor with a gearbox. This means that if we can make the shaft rotate fast enough, it will be able to generate high enough voltage for this to charge our phone. The idea here is to make a hand crank generator, so I jumped over to Fusion 360 where I sketched up the necessary parts. There will be the main housing, a handle, top lid and a circular piece acting as a bearing. And now when we have printed the parts we just made in the CAD software, we can go ahead and assemble it. There we go guys, a quite neat looking device, let's see if it works. Like I said in the beginning, one a little bit more useful than the other. Nevertheless, I hope you did enjoy watching this video and in case you missed it, I released a video earlier this week announcing that I'm hosting a giveaway where one of the prizes is this TiVo Black Widow 3D printer. Sign up, it's completely free. Good luck, have a nice day, bye.